teenage girls are developing a new organ. One that generates electricity. This is not a hoax. Power was an in incredible book. What were your first impressions when you read this story? Yeah, when I read the book, um, I I completely fell in love with all of the characters and um, especially Roxy. I just thought that she was a really complex and complicated character. She does questionable things, but you can't help but root for her. And I think that that's probably because of her sense of humour, her bravado, but also her vulnerabilities. And I think that that's what I'm always looking for as an actor is to try and find a, a complex, complicated role. I think for me, the most memorable part within the beginning of, of starting this project was when Naomi said that um, for the last thousand years, the only human being with unfettered rights and privileges was a white Anglo-Saxon able-bodied male. All our institutions, whether they be law, arts, government, is based on that system. And if that system changes overnight, then what happens to the world? And that and that's when I suddenly thought, oh God, this is such an amazing complex exploration of the idea of power and what power means. Marco has some amazing speeches about the control of women's bodies and historically the lack of control that, that they've had. What was it like reading and delivering those? It was cathartic. It was empowering. It felt important. It felt like, really, don't screw this up because what I'm saying is actually really powerful and really meaningful and people will hear it and feel it in a real way because the show is so aligned with reality. I play a woman who has incredible purpose and intention and responsibility as the mayor of Seattle, and yet people are focusing on how much she pays for her shoes. And I've got this incredible chief of staff who's constantly trying to put the right shoes on me so I'm not judged in the wrong way. And it just is like, this is the wrong focus, people. Yeah, wow. And that really happens. I'm not a woman, but I've seen it with AOC. I've seen it with Hillary Clinton, Kamala Harris. Like, do they smile too much? Mm. Are, they, are, are they not smiling enough? Are they likable enough? Mm. I mean, a man never has to be judged by those qualities, like what they're wearing, how they look. How, how they present themselves. I mean, they, they don't they don't have to do that. Well, women have that. always been objectified. Men yeah. haven't. So it continues. I was going to ask about the idea of women taking back control of their bodies. Are you hopeful that especially men will come away with a better sense of understanding about the kind of the seriousness of that topic? Yeah, I think Naomi Oldman, I was on a panel discussion with her last week and she spoke about she hopes that um, with the kind of roles reversed in terms of there's a patriarchy and there being a matriarchy to have a level of um, empathy that people who don't understand the kind of the struggles of women of like a deeper, under, like a feeling, a deep feeling of what it feels like to feel like powerless or powers being taken away from you. And also the feeling of like, you don't feel protected or you feel mm -hmm. unsafe from watching it. I get that feeling. I hope it really just sparks healthy conversations about situations like this. And I think that's what the power is really challenging mm -hmm. within the show, because we need to talk about it. We honestly do. We can't just put it in the dark and hope it never comes to the light. We have to talk about things like this. We as a society fought for, you know, freedom and Mm -hmm. equality mm -hmm. it shows us that we didn't go very far mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, how important the conversation is i think this, this show is incredibly urgent and important because like you're saying this I is mean, still going on being black being mm -hmm. gay being woman in a power position being either too old or too young it's crazy that these things and problems still exist now i feel a hundred times stronger can you imagine that kind of freedom?